right, so there's like no light over here in my room, but what I'm going to do is plug in the I'm going to plug in the console that I have hooked up right now, which is the NES to the first player port on the PS1. So, plugged into the NES. I'm going to take that and then plug that into the PlayStation Classic port one. And then from there, I'm going to plug in this board to power. And it should light up. And so, there's the orange indicator. And we can kind of see that we have orange in there. So I'm going to take out the power power again, I'm going to insert it to the PS1, and then I should get a green light. So I have the NES plugged into the first player port of the PS1 Classic, and then I have the PS1 Classic plugged into power, so we do get our two lights there and here. And now I should be able to turn on the NES Classic and it should have an orange light, which it does. So it is getting power from the PS1. Go ahead and turn that off. And so that means that this port is working. And I'll disconnect the power. Plug it into the second port. Plug in the power again and see if we can power the NES Classic through here. So there's our lights. And I'm going to turn on the NES Classic see if we are getting power. And we are. So I can go ahead and unplug this. Unplug this and I think that's a good indication that our power mod worked.